Hey everyone and welcome back to FSI DFS. I am McKinley412 and today we're going to be looking at the main slate for Thursday night. Uh, it's an eight game slate but at the moment no other issues that we really have to be paying attention to uh, so we can just dive right into the pitching here. Uh, not a great pitching night here at all. Uh, we only have like one or two decent pitchers going and they really priced a, a lot of these guys up way higher um, than they should be. I, I think, you know, I, I somebody told me that when there's only one or two decent pitchers on a slate, uh, DraftKings likes to really hike up their salary. I, I guess I've never even thought about that, but it, it, once I heard it, I've been paying attention to it, and it is kind of true. Um, so I think that's kind of what we got going on tonight here. But there are two pitchers that are probably going to be popular for cash, um, and everybody else is just kind of around there. So. We'll just start right up at the top here. Walker Bueller um, for the Dodgers going up against the Cubs. Uh, Bueller, you know, clearly hands down the best pitcher on the slate here. Uh, the best strikeout pitcher on the slate. He's uh, got the highest uh, Vegas strikeout total over under for the night here by a long shot. I think it's at 7.5. So he's clearly the number one pitcher here. Um, but 11.5K is just wild. Uh, we're approaching, if not past, Jacob deGrom's salary here. Uh, so it's pretty scary to um, put a guy in at this price, uh, especially on a slate like this where you're going to want, there's a lot of teams in just absolute smash spots uh, for the bats. So do you want to pay up 11.5K for your pitcher? I don't know. It's going to be tough to squeeze them in. You're going to have to definitely find the value and the value that we've had for the past couple of days uh, is not there. It's not as, you know, cut and dry because the past couple of slates, it has been um, jam in. Let me see. I can pull it up here. Computer wants to load here. Uh, it's been jamming Toro at third base because he was 2.1 K. And then at shortstop, it was jam in Franco, who was min price. Uh, so you had 2.1 and a min price in Franco. It was just jam these two in, and you can get anybody that you want on the entire slate. And that's how it's been for the past couple of nights, ever since Franco came into the league. I think it was Tuesday night was the first one. Um, so they doubled Franco's price here. Toro got a 1K boost as well. So it's not as easy to just jam in uh, the top stud pitchers here. So if you jam in those two guys and you go with Bueller, you're at 4.5K and that's with a, another pitcher remaining. Um, I'm going to highlight Garcia here in a minute. So Garcia, you're looking at 3.8K. It's not impossible, but you're going to want a lot of these big bats from Toronto and a lot of the big bats from Houston. And that's really going to hamper uh, your salary here real quick. So um, Barrios, 10.4K, just, it's too much. It's too much point per dollar wise. I, I, I just don't see any way that he's able to, unless he has one of his ceiling games, I don't see any way that he's going to be able to reach value here. Um, you're looking for around 20s, like high 20s for this guy. Um, you got it in this game against Houston here, but you know, overall, it's, not good for a guy who's, who's priced 10.4K. You can see he was 8.5 uh, just in his last start. So DK is really hyped up these salaries. Joe Ross is the exact same way, just way too expensive uh, for, for who he is. I mean, he had this smash game against San Francisco where he put up 37 and DK raised his price uh, all the way up here. But look at the rest of his game log work here. Um, and we just know from previous seasons he's just not a great pitcher uh so 9.6k he's he has only hit two times value like once or twice this entire season we're looking for like 2.5 uh hopefully at least that's what i strive for can he hit at least 2.5 not as he projected to get 2.5 but can he hit it uh, on a constant basis but it's just not going to happen so ross no thanks uh pavetta kind of same deal I mean, he's not, he's not as untargetable as, as the other pitchers here. Uh, I would go Pavetta over Ross or Berrios, uh, simply point per dollar for sure. Uh, but the guy I do want to go to probably in cash, and he's probably going to be one of the most popular on the entire slate, should be the most popular on the entire slate, 
is Luis Garcia going up against Detroit. Uh, point per dollar wise, I, I think he's your best uh, option here. 8.7 K and he's posting numbers uh, that are along the lines of guy like Walker Bueller, who is uh, 11.5. Uh, so he's got a phenomenal matchup. One of the best matchups on the day here. Um, let me check Detroit's implied total uh, 4.02. So the third lowest on the slate. Um, so Houston should get the win here can easily should it's baseball. You never know. Uh, so he should get that win bonus as well. And you can see the strikeouts have been up pretty nicely over these past couple of starts. So I, I think RC is going to be your top option. I think, uh, I, you know, I don't want to say SP one, but he's probably going to be the first guy that you put in to your cash lines. And if you can find the salary to get up into Bueller, absolutely go for it. Um, but if you can't find that salary, you're probably going to have to jump down to guys, maybe like uh, Pavetta or, oh, it's gross. It's gross. There's just not a lot of pitching options on the slate. I wish I could excite you guys more about some pitchers, but it's it's just not going to happen. Um, Tintillin, no, Waka, he's got home run issues. Cool. Kramer is going up against Toronto uh, in this ballpark behind me here. It's Salem Field in Buffalo. It's it's ugly. It's ugly. Carlos Martinez, you guys all know, I love to target Carlos Martinez. Um, he has burned me uh, in the past here. You know, he can have these nice games of, of 20 points, 16, 22, 24. He has burned me in the past. Um, and he has shut down this Pittsburgh team uh, earlier on in the season to 22 points here. So 6.3K. GPP, go for it. Uh, absolutely. I got no issues with uh, playing Carlos Martinez here in, in more of a GPP format. Uh, but at the same time, you got to recognize his floor is nearly non-existent. Uh, 2.7, 8.7, negative 22, negative 11, 8. His floor is not there. Um, so, but his, his upside is there. So GPP, Carlos Martinez, for sure. Uh Anthony Kay, he's not a good pitcher, but he should be in line. Well, no, he won't be in line for the win because he's not going to go that deep into the game. He's probably only going to get three innings, uh, three or four innings here. But going against Baltimore, min price, uh, or at least what I thought was min price for pitchers, 4K. I know they can go lower now. Um, but Anthony Kay, 4K, if you need an absolute dart, uh, go ahead. Plug him in, plug him in. Uh, he, he can really get you those top bats there. So speaking of that, that's kind of wraps up the pitcher. It, it's not, it's ugly. Uh, Luis Garcia is probably the first pitcher that you're going to put into your lineups. Um, and then if you can get up to Bueller, great. If you can't, maybe going down to a guy like Pavetta. Uh, I don't really like Davies here going up against that Dodgers offense. Um, but yeah, so let's look to the bats. And I mentioned it earlier, Toro, Franco, they were both, well, Franco was min price at 2K. Toro was 2.1K. So it was just kind of jam those two guys in the past two nights uh, and, and just go on with your lineup. How, put in whoever you want. We don't have that luxury here today. Uh, but this slate is exactly like the past a week has gone. The teams you're going to target, it's going to be Toronto. It's going to be Houston. Uh, Dodgers, also a uh, top stack today, but it's going to be Houston. It's going to be Toronto. And how many of those bats can you fit in here? So, uh, you know, looking at the prices of these bats here, it is pretty scary. You know, Alvarez, he's probably going to be a, a lock play, um, in my opinion, uh, today. You're going up against Urania. Urania is in terrible form. I think in his past couple of starts, he's finished in the negatives. Uh, he's got that weak Detroit bullpen behind him. It should be another uh, great day. Oh, that reminds me. Houston, 10-game win streak here, 10-0. Their run differential in the past 10 games. Let me pull it up real quick because I want to get this right because it is pretty remarkable what they're doing. All right, last 10 games. Uh, Astros, 10-0, a six plus 60 run differential. They scored 81 runs in their past 10 games, but they've only let up 21. So they're winning their game on average, 8.1 to 2, 8 to 2. That's just unreal. A plus 62 hit differential. They have 117 hits. Uh, the only other teams in the live ball era 
uh, with a plus six year better run and hit differential in a 10 game streak. It's only happened three times. Pirates back in 22, Yankees in 39, and the Angels in 79. Uh, I pulled that off of Twitter. Um, so it, it's pretty incredible the, the hot bats that Houston has. And I think there's another smash spot here uh, once again. So Houston, um, it's going to be tough. Tucker's probably going to be popular because he is fairly cheap. He's got that nice uh, lefty righty matchup here. Let me pull him up. Uh, and he's been hot. He's been hot. This whole Houston offense has been hot. Uh, so it's going to be jamming as many Houston guys as you probably can. Um, and if you can sprinkle in Toronto guys as well, you're going to want to try and jam in Toronto as well. Kramer, we've gone over his stats in these videos before. You know, he's just a fastball pitcher. He's just going to try to blow by you with a four-seamer, with a cutter. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. He, he did uh, do well against uh, Toronto earlier on in the season, but I, just, I can't see it happening twice in a row here. So uh, Toronto, I think, is going to be another great, great option here. Um, just, I don't know, pick, pick you want. There's really not much you can do wrong here. Uh, but if you want to go up to a guy like, I'm just going to put in Semi in here because his eligibility is there. Semi in, uh, those Toronto catchers always provide solid value, uh, regardless of where they're put, plugged into the lineup. Uh, so maybe there's your value that you want to go to. And look at that. I'm, I'm jamming in Toronto. I'm jamming in Houston with, with these top bats. And, and you're able to do it. Uh, you're able to do it. But that, that's pretty much how the site's going to go. You're going to jam in uh, Garcia. He's going to be the first pitcher that you put in. At least this is from my perspective. I'm going to jam in Garcia here. Um, and then you're going to want to plug in as many of those Houston bats uh, as you're comfortable with. Um, definitely going to be wanting Alvarez, Brantley, Tucker. The only issue is that they're all off that, uh, offense outfield. Uh, so that kind of takes everything away, but it, there's going to be a lot of lines that have this as their outfield three today. Um, Toronto, their catchers, always cheap. Houston has some decently cheap catchers as well, but it's just plugging those two teams. Um, if you want to separate yourself from the field and you want to kind of fade those two teams there, uh, the Dodgers are going to be in a nice spot as well. Vegas loves the Dodgers going up against Davies. Davies definitely has some blow up potential. Um, let me pull his logs up here. There we go. So Davies, uh, he definitely has some blow up potential. Okay. He got blown up in his last start uh, against Miami 3.1 or 3.8 here, 1.9. Uh, he can get hit hard. So, these Dodger bats, I think, are going to be in a solid position as well, especially those left-handed bats, guys like Muncie. Um, I think they're going to be in a nice spot. Bellinger uh, here. So they're not too pricey. I mean, they're expensive, but you're going to be able to fit them in with Garcia and possibly Bueller without too much issue. Um, another GPP team that you could go for that is, I think, under the radar, but in another great, great spot going up against Mejia here is going to be Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota is certainly not expensive at all. Uh, you can absolutely jam them in. Poor Buxton, just injured again. I just, this poor guy, the poor uh, Minnesota fans. He was out for over a month, comes back for three days, and then he's back on the IAL. This has been his whole career. I, it's just so sad because he's so good. He's so good. I really hope he can get, get uh get healthy here soon so uh, if you want to get away from the houston toronto go minnesota go uh with the dodgers here uh tampa bay is not too bad i think baltimore really i, I talked about anthony k he's not a great pitcher and he's not going to go deep into the game so he's only going to go like three or four innings this toronto bullpen is just it's in shambles I, they can't do anything right it seems um, so I think Baltimore could be in line for a very sneaky day. I think the overrun, I mean, it's not going to be too sneaky. The overrunner in this game is 11. Uh, so it's not going to be too sneaky, but I think if people are targeting this game, they're going to be jamming in the Toronto bats for sure. Uh, so if you go to the yard side, go to Baltimore, you're going to get less of your exposure. And while they're not as safe, I think they could be in line for a very, very solid hitting night as well. Atlanta, Cincinnati. 
uh, game. I know I'm kind of jumping around here. I mean, Cincinnati, not too much I'm interested in. Same with Washington, Miami. Just with all the other just incredible hitting spots we got going on today, not too much. I can make a case for Tampa Bay uh, going up against Pavetta. But, you know, like I said, I think Pavetta's fine. Uh, so if you want to go Boston going against Waka uh, and, and his home run issues, sure, go for it. Um, I love Houston, obviously, Minnesota, and then St. Louis, Pittsburgh, yeah, and Dodgers. So that kind of wraps things up. I mean, it's gross on the pitcher side. Batter side is awesome, uh, but it's probably going to be plug in Garcia, plug in Houston bats, plug in Toronto bats, and, and fill in from there. So uh, good luck in your contest tonight. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we've been getting hundreds of views on these videos and we, we have all the data. We know who's subscribed and who's not subscribed and over 60% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really does help us out in keeping this free content, uh, to you guys, keeping this free content out to you guys. Uh, so please, please hit that subscribe button, um, drop a comment, hit that thumbs up button. It all does help us out here. So. As always, good luck in your contests, and we'll see you in the next video.